Ann Arbor native Evan Bates and his partner Madison Schock recently won ice dancing gold at the U.S. Figure Skating Championships, locking up a berth in the Olympics. For Bates, a Huron High School and U of M grad, this will be his fourth Olympiad, more than any skater in U.S. history. He joined us on a Zoom call to talk about that and a host of other topics. That stat I'm trying to comprehend um, still, it doesn't seem like I don't feel that old. I feel so fortunate and so honored to be a U.S. Olympian. To now go for my fourth time is just, it just feels crazy. Can you describe the Olympic experience and maybe how it's even changed? Because you're going back to 2010, Vancouver, with your experience. Now with um, the interconnectedness that social media has brought us, um, you're acutely aware of the focus and the attention. All eyes now turn to the Olympic Games. When I step on the Olympic ice, ultimately for me, it's about demonstrating my character and showing what it means to be a U.S. Olympian, what it means to be a Michigan graduate. I take great pride in that. And ultimately, you know, that's what I can control is going out there and showing the years of hard work, the dedication, and all of the excellence that I've put into my craft and showing it in that most important moment. I'm curious what your earliest memories of skating are. I started skating at age four over at Vets Memorial Park over uh, off of Stadium Boulevard. I remember getting on the ice in snow pants, in a helmet, and basically just sitting on my rear end and paddling around like being unable to even stand on skates and I remember there was a time when I didn't really love skating that much. Um, you know, being a, a male athlete in the sport can be difficult. There aren't a lot of us, and I really um, advocate for, you know, attracting and retaining as many male skaters as we can because the life experiences that I've had through skating have just completely changed my life for the better. Being a student at Michigan, but not a student athlete at Michigan, what was that balancing act like for you? It was a real challenge. You know, there was a lot of communication that I had to be very upfront with a lot of my professors, basically on day one, approach them after class and say, you know, listen, I'm gonna be traveling for three or four weeks this semester, competing internationally for Team USA. And like you said, it's not really a, it's not a varsity sport. It's not affiliated with the university, but I have to say that my experience was so good uh, the professors were incredibly accommodating and they kind of met me halfway. You know, there were a lot of office hours I had to attend. You graduated Michigan in 2013. Since then, what is the one sports team here that maybe you stay most in touch with by following them remotely? When Michigan beat Ohio State this year, it was one of the greatest moments of my adult life. From the half yard line, Haskins gets it in. He dives, he's in, Hassan Haskins. Touchdown, Michigan! I was so happy, and I live in Canada, and college football is not nearly as popular as hockey around here, but um, that victory just felt so monumental and so important. It gave me so much excitement and so much pride. I was probably the loudest Michigan fan in Canada. Care to introduce who we have there with you? These are the poodles, <laughs> Henry and Stella, and I, I wish that Henry had his Michigan sweater on, but he's got his, he still has his Christmas PJs on. Okay. Um, but yeah, these are my uh, companions here up in Canada. I love them dearly. And after a long day at the ice rink, there's nothing better than coming home to a couple of furry little loving poodles. What is the number one ingredient when you talk about skating clean, putting up good scores? That's a great question. Um, as an ice dancer, our sport is maybe more difficult for the layperson to understand. Even amongst figure skating, we don't do the big jumps and a lot of the more obvious tricks where you might be able to tell whether someone made a mistake or not. So our sport is kind of more a combination of like, if you imagine ballroom dance mixed with gymnastics or acrobatics on ice, it's about storytelling ultimately. It's about capturing someone's attention and making them feel something and making them feel an emotion. Bates says he's proud to be a member of the unofficial Michigan Olympic Club. 
The University of Michigan has a really special legacy of Olympians. It seems like every single Summer Olympics, we've got a handful of swimmers in there, um, including the greatest Olympian of all time, Michael Phelps. And our ice dance legacy is quite, quite good as well. We've had a lot of Olympians in the ice dance category. And so I'm just so honored to be a part of that and to continue that legacy. The university has given me and my family so much, and I'm so grateful for that. The education that I received, the camaraderie that I've gained through the friendships and the relationships from the university. So I'm just so grateful and I really look forward to representing the university over in Beijing.